Because this is like one of the top cheap head spots this year. Oh God, that's a beast, that's a beast. Alright guys, uh, back here with Cricket Smile Fishing. It's a beautiful morning, as you can see. It's six in the morning, no one's leaving yet. Captain Taylor here, and uh, it's gonna be a beautiful day on the golf. Beautiful, I mean, it's supposed to be gorgeous. And if not, at least we'll be able to get on some Spanish and some Kingfish, hopefully. But if we get to the golf, we're going for some Amberjack and some Cobia. Maybe some, who knows, maybe Mahi. We'll see how they treats us. Passing out to the harbor. You guys enjoy. So we are at. Wow. All right, so we are at a very well known. Oh, oh, got one instantly. Look at that. I mean, instantly. Slammed it instantly. First cast. First cast, baby. I mean, I haven't even been out here for five seconds. First cast, Spanish. That's how you do it. I foul hooked them. These little things swim so fast. They're really hard to actually hook. Dolphins at the boat. Guys, done. I'm holding them really tight due to the fact that I don't want him to throw blood everywhere. He's 17 inch. First cast right in the head. Spanish number two, baby. First cast of the day. That was beautiful, though. Now, these Spanish mackerel, they swim. There's dolphins over there. You can see them. They swim unbelievably fast. So, a lot of times you won't actually hook them correctly. Go to foul hook. Every once in a while, you'll get a good hook. All right, guys. Today we are using a Shimano inshore on a Shimano Stratic 3000 with the Yozuri Crystal Minnow floater that has just a gorgeous color pattern. So it's, you can tell it's pretty calm. The wind shouldn't be that bad. Um, I'm gonna head to some reefs right offshore. Nothing major, I don't have no one with me. Oh, fish on, fish on, fish on baby, fish on, fish on. That's a good Spanish too. Oh yeah, that's a good one. He's not wanting to come up. There you go. That's a good Spanish right there. Personal best is 27. Need to bust my net out. I didn't think they were going to be out here this thick instantly. Woo. I am under the boat. I don't know if y'all can see this, but I have to fight him back this way. He's running towards my prop. There it goes. Guys, so I just got broke off by what I'm guessing was a, just a big Spanish. But, so what I'm gonna do is here, I tie line to line a uni uni. Two, three, four. Going six times on one side. Pulling that down. Sucks I lost that lure. That was a $10 lure. So you tie a uni on one side, the uni on both. Bring the knots to the middle. Now I think these Spanish are still sitting out here because that was a beast that just got me there. I have dolphins all over the boat, so there's definitely Spanish swimming back and forth. Gotta get them on there. Let them see it. 
Fish on. Fish on. He's not getting off this. Oh, he's coming at me fast. They're so freaking fast, these Spanish are. I need to get my net out, and I didn't get it. Dang it. Oh, here's a go. Got another Spanish. Foul hooked. Pop my bail. Put that down. Calm. Calm down. Yeah, you're going in the cooler, so calm down. All right. Now that I... So... See the lateral line cut down. You see the black and the fin right here. That's a Spanish. Now we can get this guy to smile for us. You see those razor teeth. Look at this. Look at that. Razors. They also like to throw blood everywhere. So you hold them nice and tight. All over your boat. So now you always, like I said, check your line. You see that little fray right there? I don't know if you'll be able to see it in the camera. That's just one Spanish. The wind does feel like it's picking up a little, but it said it's supposed to be very light winds today, so hopefully the weatherman didn't lie. on I had a feeling fish on I'm ripping these Spanish up today boys and Spanish is a very good tasting fish they're just high in mercury so you just can't eat them too much Fish number three in the boat. Also, I just want to shout out Yo Zuri for making these amazing lures, man. These things catch every fish. Crystal minnows. Floating. The USS Massachusetts. A sunken battleship that sits right outside of our bay. And there she is. You can see right here tips coming out so it's not snapper season yet check it out frozen shrimp for them now watch look at them just feasting see some trigger fish in there some red snapper they drop down some shrimp here in a second look at them all right so i had to head back in to the bay because how choppy the golf was Weatherman said it was going to be two to three foot at most, and it turned three to four foot out there. Look at the waves, man. This is inside the bay. Got one. Little baby red snapper. Little baby red snapper. So these guys have sharp things all over their body. That thing's dead. Sometimes I'll go through the head right before the brain and that keeps them alive. Good spot to hook up on the shrimp. Got a 
fish on. Ooh, that's a nicer one. Whatever that is, that's a little bit nicer. That's a little bit nicer. Might be another. Ooh, what do we got here? Ooh, we got a red snapper. Go figure. So far, I've gotten a few bites, nothing big. This is actually, in my previous video, you'll see me get snapped off here twice. Two times I got broke off here on some bees. Unfortunately, that was that malfunction of the reel. I'm not using malfunctioning reels today. All right, guys, I'm getting bites. Oh, got me into the structure. That's crazy because there's not even a lot of structure down there. Oh, he got me off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and dump a these few frozen shrimp. In there. See if we can't get some things shaken up and eaten. Okay, everybody. So I'm sitting here. Just wondering where, uh, where my fish are. I had a quick early morning trip. Left the house at about six. Got to my first stop at about seven. It's 10 o'clock and I'll be heading home shortly with a few good Spanish. And a few good fights that I'll remember. If the Weather Channel wouldn't have lied, and it actually would have been calm winds, and the Gulf would have been calm, we would have been out there fishing. That's a good one. That's a good one. I think I got him on, guys. I got him on. I got him on. I can't even get him up. That's a good one. I don't want to break my hook. Right in the structure. Dang it. Pop my line if I don't give him enough. He got me stuck, guys. He, my line. All right, looks like we're broke free here. I just lost something big again. Twice I lost on a five thousand reel. Shimano Stratic 5000, right here. Shimano 5000 Stratic FJ. Now, the drag was so tight that I could barely even pull it out after the fish zizzed me off and broke it. So now, instead of retying up my 5000, letting him eat it again, and letting him break me off again, yep. We're gonna go four shrimp because we want them. I think there's a grouper down there, guys. I think we may have a grouper in the bay right now. I've caught them in here at this exact spot a few times, but only one way to find out. So we're gonna use the big boy. We're gonna use the Shimano Toro 8000. This should do the job. They should not be able to pull my drag. All right, let's tighten that drag up. Okay, so last time I was here and this was happening that my 5000s kept getting broke off, I decided to use a big pole and I hooked onto a grouper. That being said, that's what I think is down there taking my bait really hard. Either that or it's these really big snappers. Oh, that was him. That was something good, guys. We just missed it. Here we go. We're getting bites. Take it. These nibbles suck. Oh, got him. Got him. He ain't getting up either. We got him. Nope. What'd I say? Beautiful. Of course, the one that hits isn't the biggest one, but... Alright, guys. 
So check out that fish. Beautiful, beautiful red snapper. So right there, you can see, and right there, those things are so sharp. I think I got maybe five to six more shrimp. And then I may call it a day. I may go inshore and I may give you guys some trout and some redfish and cast it on the docks. Haven't really decided yet. All I know is I really want this grouper to come up so I can show you guys them. This is like one of the top sheephead spots this year. Oh God, that's a beast. That's a beast. That's a beast right there. That's a good one. Did you see that hit? Oh yeah. May I use all his energy right in the beginning. Grouper. Guys, freaking called it. So you got grouper sitting down there. Look at these mouths they got. Check him out. Check him out. Now, I think this is a. Let's see here. All right, guys. So this is a gag grouper. So he is not a keeper. And there he goes. First. Oh, look at that. We got a few more, guys. He's not big. He's not big. He's not big. Look at the little baby. Now that's a baby gag grouper right there. Cute little baby. Look at that. So the grouper are here, of course, and I don't got no bait. I want to be careful because they have really soft mouths and I don't want to mess them up. And there he goes, back to the sea. Welcome back. It was a pretty good trip, huh? I thought so too myself. We did catch some good species inside the bay. Unfortunately, the weatherman lied and we did not make it out to the golf, except to show you guys a few snapper eating. Um, I didn't catch those snapper because it's not snapper season and I really don't want to mess their mouths up, so I just kind of left them alone. And the waves were getting bad when I was out there, so I just instantly came back in. I'm sorry for the wind as well, but if you did like the video, um, click the like button, leave a comment, and please subscribe. Thank you.